Hey guys, Jacob wrestles with God. The story comes from Genesis chapter 32, and I'm going to read it for you now. That night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had sent them across the stream, he sent over his, all his possessions. So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip, so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. Then the man said, let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans, and you have overcome. Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, It is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. The sun rose above him as he passed Peniel, and he was limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the tendon attached to the socket of the hip, because the socket of Jacob's hip was touched near the tendon. This is an amazing story, and... We have looked at it at Kids Church this week and it got me thinking, you know, we all have struggles. We all have things that we do that we don't want to do. And that was Jacob's story too. God had asked him to go with his family and he knew it was the right thing, but he really didn't want to go. And we have struggles in our lives too. Maybe it's not just something that God's telling you to do that you don't want to, but maybe it's just the things that life is throwing at you. And those struggles are hard and sometimes they hurt. And that's kind of like this iron here. The iron's hot and it's metal, but it's needed. If you think of this shirt, it's really wrinkled and it doesn't look like it should. It's not ready to be worn. Maybe you wear something like this to school or maybe you've seen your mum or dad ironing clothes before. They start out all wrinkled. It's not what they're supposed to look like. So we need the iron. But if you think about it, if you were the shirt, that would really hurt. It's hot, it's hard, it's uncomfortable, but it's necessary. The ironing smooths out and gets the shirt ready for what it needs to do. And that's true for us too. God doesn't say he'll take away our struggles, but he does promise that even in the midst of them, he will use the things that we go through to make us more like we should be, more like him, more like the way he made us to be. And it might be painful, but if we hold on to Jesus and we trust that he is with us, he understands and hears our struggles, and God can do amazing things in the midst of them, just like the iron on the shirt.